Families across the southeast are buckling under the mounting pressure of private education costs. Many are even being forced to give up the great Australian dream just to keep their kids enrolled. Parents make plenty of sacrifices, but some are more costly than most. My wife and I sat down and we made the decision that we'd put all our kids through private schooling. Scott Nalon has paid a very high price for that decision. So much so, he and his wife have abandoned owning their own home, choosing to invest in their children instead. Do you value your kids or do you value a house that you're going to pay off for the next 30 to 50 years. Across the country, non-government school fees are sucking up almost 40% of some families' income. Victoria and South Australia are feeling the pinch, with Queensland and New South Wales closely behind. One in six of uh, families pay for their private schooling using credit cards. Racking up expensive bills that really hit the hip pocket. Research revealing the average cost of fees per family is now $20,000 a year. You know, education is really important for our, our future um, planning, but don't let that overwhelm you at the same time. Taking advantage of grants and scholarships offered by private schools can also help ease the burden on family finances. As always, there are options. Public schools offer the same standard of education without the hefty price tag. And look for a school that uh, provides the services and the education that will best suit the interests of their child. Getting into a, a good private school, I think it's made a lot of difference for my children. Absolutely. John Paul Gonzo for 10 News First. And there's more information about this story to help out mums and dads on our website. Head to 10daily.com.au.